All right, here we go, people. At it again. It is pedal time. Time to pedal and talk. Back here in this washroom, and it is nice and chilly back here. Is this thing off to the side? I have no idea. See, I got my little my little hat on. Keep my hat, my head warm. I don't have no sleeves. I was gonna put my hoodie on, and there was a cat turd in my. <laughs> in my hoodie which is just reminds me why the cats are outside right now freaking cat turd in my hoodie in the sleeve i'm like how did you even get in there so yeah that's why the cats are outside the cats are no longer in the house because of stuff like that and related to <laughs> that uh so yeah and I got a little box right here that uh don't need to be in the house anymore, but it is winter time. The cats will be in again at some point because I don't leave them outside when the weather is just straight up horrible outside. But long since in the 50s, maybe the 40s, the cats are fine outside. Uh once we get to the 30s, that's a little bit different. But anyway. What did I want to talk about today? A little bit of uh, everything, I guess. I had something in my head for the last few days about regrets and shit like that. Don't have any regrets. I'd be lying if I say I didn't. <laughs> Just looking back you know, on your life experiences and stuff like that. You have any regret? Yeah, we all do. You know, we all do. But uh, the perspective I have to take on regrets is that, okay, we all have regrets. We all got decisions we wish we would have made a little different. But I'm like, okay, going back to that time to where, okay, would you have made the same decision going back? You know what I'm saying? Just like, because going back with the knowledge that you have now, it's, it's not really not fair to judge it like that. You're like, in that, in that specific situation that you're regretting the decision, if you go back in time, would that same decision have been, have been made? That's the thing. Not that you would have done it differently. It's just, if it would have, yeah. It's just something that, okay, you go back and probably would have been better if it would have went, if it would have went another way. But that same decision probably would have been made. It's kind of hard going back and talking about stuff like that. <laughs> I don't think about it, but yeah. A lot of stuff is if, if I'd have gone back, gone through that same uh, situation, would have uh, made the same decision. Yeah. Yeah. Most of them is yes. There's only one to where I'm like, okay, I, it could have went either way. It could have went either way. And that's not like I can remember all. You have to think about major stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's decisions we make all day, every day. But major stuff. Would you have done something different? And uh, you have to think about pivotal points in your life. My life is not a whole bunch of those. It's generally either relationship type stuff or... Uh, whether I was going to stay in school or not, either, <laughs> either the times I decided not to stay in school, uh, cause that happened a few times, uh, cause I've gone, I've been back to school at least three times that I can remember. Yeah. So, uh, the major one. You know, 
you have to all go all the way back to 19, 20 years old at uh, Oregon State where it was like, okay, had a decision where I was going to stay up there because that was not uh, – That was that was not a pleasant experience. You know, what I'm saying as far as I'm concerned, it wasn't a pleasant experience. Um, but the whole situation, just to boil it down, so I don't tell no fucking five-hour-long story, uh, is that I got up there, you know, uh, on a scholarship and. Um, got the spring ball. Spring ball. They took somebody off the practice. Not practice ball. What the fuck am I talking about? They took somebody off the of defense. Put them ahead of me on the depth chart. And asked me to coach him. And taking that. You know, once you get into spring ball and stuff like that, that's that's when you're trying to fig get your spot on the team. You know what I'm saying? That's where you try to figure out when, you know, uh, summer come around and the fall, and it's time to get on the field. If you're gonna if you're gonna be on you know on the field playing on the sideline, watch. This is the time that all that is being determined. Try this is this is when you fighting for that spot put somebody ahead of me on this depth chart and ask me to coach him up and I refused I told him I wasn't for to do that you know you put it you moving him you coach him I'm trying to you know I'm trying to do what's best for me over here and uh me and my position coach didn't get along particularly well because First of all, he wasn't a position coach. Wasn't a coach at all as far as I'm concerned. He was a graduate assistant who was just out there basically carrying balls until they actually they moved the uh, position coach to another position and they just had him, they just stuck him in there. He's over there coaching tight ends or whatnot and he was a, you know, ex, basically a, a ex player on a team from a few years ago. If you know what a graduate assistant is, that I mean he was just on the team a few years ago or whatnot, and not even one of the players on the team that actually played or anything. But anyway, that ain't got shit to do with shit. Fact was, uh, he didn't know what he was doing. As far as trying to coach up anything, whatever. I guess you got to start and learn some kind of goddamn way. But I wouldn't for the go with all that shit. And it got to the point to where I went to the head coach and told him that I more likely, you know, I wasn't coming back. And I always rethink that. And I could have said, man, I could have just stayed up there. I could have been like a bunch of the players on the team that were basically just riding out five years for pay for education you know what i'm saying they could have just you know they were just up there didn't give a damn about football that's why that team was fucking one and whatever the fuck it was the team sucked but you know there's a lot of players up there and they got their scholarship they got got up there Couple of years, five, you know, four, five years, whatever they can get out the program, get their degree, and boom, they on with the rest of their life. Uh, you know, just go through the motions and to it's fine, whatever. It ain't like everybody up there trying to go to the NFL and no shit like that, you know. Get opportunity, get opportunity. I was up there, I didn't really like football that much. For the amount of effort. That's funny saying that, taking it. I played football up until I was 36. But I played what I wanted to. <laughs> There's a difference. Uh, when I got to Division One, figure out this shit 
It's a job. You know what I'm saying? It really is. You go to school and blah, blah, blah. And you figure out that a lot of times it's like, it's a cross between, you know, you're playing football, but it's also like being in the military. Depending on your, uh, I mean, it's all structured, you know, in that, in that, uh, you know, military, you got shit you got to do. You know, how the popular, you know, basic training type of shit go where you, <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of like that. You know, everything is structured. You got your rules and the blah, blah, blah. It's, it's not a lot different. It, it really ain't. And, but neither say, I didn't, I didn't stay. Um, came back home because you know, it was a relief not to be in a football coach. I didn't like being in a football coach. I was in a football coach when I went to Jack Yates in my freshman year and I didn't want to play football there because I was at Jack Ace was like football school. You know what I'm saying? It just, ugh, I, I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I, I don't, I don't like it. So I left that. And I went back to the school that's over here where I'm at in my neighborhood, which is Jeff Davis, which was definitely not a football school. They had the worst football team in the nation at the time. Literally, the 10 game lose, 10 year. 10 year losing streak that streak was broken you know during my time now but still i was able to go and play football and kind of just play football it wasn't too rah rah uh, uh. Right, it is out that is out of my personality you know what i'm saying <laughs> it really was now, if I'd have stayed at Jack Yates, would I have gotten the scholarship? I don't know. You know, there's no way to know that. I went to Jeff Davis, and I was able to be seen by some other people, blah, blah, blah. That's how I ended up getting the scholarship to go to Oregon State, all that other shit. You know, whatever. But, because uh, I, don't, I don't regret leaving Jack Yates and going to Jeff Davis. I don't. You know, uh, but I did, there was no parallel jump when I went from Oregon State. It went from Oregon State to, okay, we just, I'm just back out here in the real world, you know, working and blah, 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 like everybody else. I didn't have the knowledge of how all that shit worked. I probably could have, I probably could have transferred to another school. You know what I'm saying? That would be my only regret, regret you know what I'm saying? After after that, that would probably if I had a regret after that, leaving up there probably wouldn't be my biggest regret because after I left the year after that, I wasn't the only one. I think one one kid got kicked out, one freshman got kicked out while I was there, my freshman year, and then you had uh, me that just left after the school year. I didn't leave right in the middle. They said, we just finished out the year and blah, 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 whatever. So I finished out the year. And I left. I just didn't fucking come back. But come to find out that the year after I left, that next year, the class that I was in, I think I heard that more than half of those kids left the school, period. That shows you how that team was being ran, and that kind of justified it for me. I was like, well, shit, I was right. You know what I'm saying? I was right. It's just them, them folks up there wouldn't run in the, running the team like it should have been ran either. Now, as far as off the field, you know, it's whatever. But football-wise, no. I saw it myself when I was up there to where I'm like, all these – it's a bunch of kids playing out of position up here. You know, it's just, that's that's what I saw. It was a lot of people playing out of position up there. The way they recruited, they uh, they had some stupid ass way of recruiting folks where they recruit people to put in other positions. It's, it's dumb. It's like, okay, uh, the best athletes, in their opinion, 
don't know how you get to where you are with it. The best athletes, in their opinion, were generally the option quarterbacks. So, an uh, overproportionate part of their team were option quarterbacks. I am, I am not lying. If you ask everybody on the team, offense, defense, other than the line, other than the linemen and the linebackers, you know, you, you all have some specific folks that was, you know, playing in position were option quarterbacks when they were recruited. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, you know, you recruiting out of high school, so people play both ways and shit like that. They might have been an option quarterback and then play safety or cornerback or some shit. But if you just on the Division One team, out of all your skill positions, I say more than half, literally more than half of them. And now that I'm thinking about it, it might have been a lot more than half of them were well, option quarterbacks when they were recruited. Because that's what they, they also ran a wishbone offense. Even though this was way back in 1995 and 96, you shouldn't have been running no fucking wishbone off the offense at that point in the Pac-10 of all places. Man, you know what I'm saying? You shouldn't still be running that type of offense in football in 1995. I mean, high schools wasn't even doing that. You know what I'm saying? You would have to be way out in the country, in the middle of nowhere, to run across people that were still running wishbone offense. Like, primarily to where that's what you're running. Your whole team is designed around that. And you know if your whole team is around there, you got a specific quarterback, type of quarterback. And those type of quarterbacks generally can't operate nowhere else. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They can't do nothing else on the field other than that. So, it's like... And it wasn't... And that didn't change until, like I say, after I left... A bunch of other kids left, and uh, the uppers, you know, they fired. They fired everybody. They fired everybody. They brought in, I think they brought in like Mike Riley or somebody. They, they fired the whole thing. They just brought in a whole new regime and damn near started uh, winning immediately. You know what I'm saying? They started winning immediately. I think a year after that, they went to a bowl game and like beat like Notre Dame or somebody or some shit like that. That was, you know, in the Pac-10. You know, it's a competitive conference. Whew. Let me check. Yeah, we going. So, yeah. They didn't know what the fuck they was doing. I was like, shit. But like I said, my, my biggest regret was not knowing. Because if you look nowadays, all I see, you know, I got my Facebook page and all this other stuff. And you know how they stick shit. It's always, you know, football stuff on my thing. And it's like, this player here, his transfer portal, it's everything is just like, right, it's transfer portal this, transfer portal that. It's just, I mean, oh man, kids, are, all these folks are just, they just floating back and forth to these colleges and shit. It's just, you know, and I'm pretty sure there was a little bit of that going on way back in the day, but it ain't like it is now. It, it, it is not like it is now. And I was like, man, if that shit was jumping back then, and I would, I would have had some knowledge of it to where I'd been like, okay. Well, this is how this works, you, you know, and I didn't have, you know, I, when I left high school, our high school wasn't, it wasn't set up 
for colleges to come in and see, you know, and check out talent and shit like that. It just wasn't. Taking the, the high school that I went to, but, you know, nobody was, they didn't know how to prepare you for that. So, the the two P, I got letters and shit like that, uh, but the two people that came down, the two colleges that came down, you know, of course, they come down to, you know, I'm in Houston, Texas, so it's plenty of other people here. The college, uh, was able to come by and see me because they was already down here to see people anyway, and I was probably on the letter list. Like, fuck it, we can go by there and see them, but the thing about it was that they weren't supposed to. I hadn't taken my SATs. I hadn't done a whole bunch of shit like that that you're supposed to have. All the shit that's supposed to have been done for you to be able to talk to coaches and be able to go on visits to schools and shit like that. None of that shit was done. Because, well, I, I mean, the coaches that that were coaching, you know, at the school I was, well, they hadn't, they hadn't coached anywhere to where this stuff was going on. It wasn't going on at the school I was going on going to at the time. So how the fuck would they know that you need to have your players, especially if you got players that get attention like that, to have your players ready and prepared for college recruitment? They didn't know. You know what I'm saying? I can't blame them for that. They didn't know. You know, inner city school like that. Ain't nobody coming to see nobody else. Now, that's different after I left. Now, you know. Now, I don't know if they got any shit from uh, football or anything like that. But there's some pro athletes that come out of Jeff Davis after I left. So, they were able to know, okay, this is how this shit works. We need to have these players ready and able to communicate with colleges and stuff like that and guide them when people come to check them out so they ready, so they don't miss any opportunities and shit like that. So, I guess I could say I was a pioneer in that regard, but I didn't make much use of that. And I don't really feel all that bad about it because... I didn't know I didn't like playing football all that much. You know what I'm saying? It just, I just didn't. I played because I could. I didn't play because I loved the game. If I was playing football, there would have to be something else going on that would keep me in that environment. Didn't really have that when I was up at Oregon State. But do I regret? Not really. At the time, you know, I was, I said, at the time, it's just, the only regret was ignorance. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know how to manage that situation after I left. I could have left that school and went somewhere else. But I didn't have that knowledge to be able to say, okay, how do I reach out to these other schools, whether it's writing letters or doing this other stuff? People are like, okay, the situation here at Oregon State ain't ideal and I'm looking for other schools. Didn't know how to go through that. As far as I know, anybody I know, <laughs> and anybody I knew didn't know how to go through that. I didn't have no agent or no people on the sideline that was, that knew how to go through all that shit. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like nowadays to where you got this phenom athlete that everybody looking at. So, Everybody's eyes is big on, you know, trying to make this kid make it through college and into the pros because the potential is there to where they already got this this management team already set up for shit. You just ain't none of that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I said, first time. You know what I'm saying? First time. After that, now you know. But like I say the only regret I had was the ignorance. It's just now, well, shit. And like now, if I run across somebody, I'm like, man, look here. I can tell you, this is the stuff 
that you need to have in order and the stuff that you need to keep an eye on. Uh, if this is the road you're going down, can't give you specifics, but in general, this is what you need to have. This is what you need to keep an eye out for. So if certain shit happen, you can go this way. If something else happen, you can go that way. Just like uh, even after football, and uh, even after that, I did go to like tryouts for like some professional leagues and shit like that. Can't even talk to no people if you ain't got no agent. You ain't got no management set up. You can't waste your time. I can come out here, run through drills, do all this other shit, but shit, if you ain't got your management and shit set up and stuff like that, can't do nothing with you. I say, I ain't got all that. Take my ass back to work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, like I say, I, 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 I went through that shit. While I still... Uh, even after I left school, I was like, I still got the ability. Maybe I can do something over here, do something over there. I ain't up playing semi-pro, but that's, that ain't no different from going to the gym and playing basketball at the court. I'll tell you that shit right now. The only difference is you paying, for the, you know, you get the, your own equipment. You're paying for a uniform. You're paying a team for this. You're paying a team for this so you can go out and play football at some park somewhere so about 30 people could come out and watch it just not really worth it some people it's fun i did it for a while but like i said i did it because i wanted to and i could but i also quit when i wanted to because i could if i didn't want to keep playing i didn't if i wanted to play i wouldn't play and uh I say the only good thing about all this shit is that I didn't, I mean, if you look at the condition I'm in now, it really don't fucking matter. But uh, I, I I managed to get through my whole football uh, playing, uh, I, say, I can't call it really a career, but you know, my extent of playing football up until I was 36, I've, I haven't had any uh, injuries. I got a broken thumb. But this happened in the weight room. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That happened in the weight room. I managed, you know, you get in, you get you get hurt here and there and blah blah blah. I got, you know, sprained ankles or whatever injuries I had when I was playing in high school, which were probably worse than sprained ankles. But, you know, high school I went to, you know what I'm saying? You put ice on shit and you wrapped it up or whatever the fuck. Wasn't uh wasn't no top line uh medical uh, going on there because I'm pretty sure I had a couple things going on that needed some hospital treatment that that, that never fucking happened it is what it is <laughs> some dirt on it but uh yeah I, I, I managed to go without having any of those wicked ass football injuries you know tore ACL or have your whole knee fuck off or some shit like that but I trade that for what I got going on there, probably. <laughs> I trade a bad knee from all the chronic illnesses I got now. Nah. But either way, I'm saying that, but my knees are fairly operational now. I mean, it ain't like I'm out running and jumping and shit now. I couldn't if I wanted to. There's a lot worse things that could happen, to you, Drew. You have to... Uh, you know, it's always that butterfly effect. Yeah, it's always that butter butterfly effect. What if you'd have stayed in school? You could have did this and did that. Yeah, I could have stayed in school. And I could have been up there in Oregon, you know, uh, just, you know, doing whatever I was doing up there and, and died in the car crash the next year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, if you're going to, you got to you gotta include everything. All the possibilities. If you want to go back and change something, don't mean that you even going to make it up back up to this, to this point. Anything could have happened. I could have caught some goddamn weird-ass disease from some or somebody or anything. I could, it, pff, a whole bunch of shit could have happened. I could have been a whole lot worse off if I'd have made a better decision back then. Just... 
you never know. So going back, you know, having regrets and shit like that, just like even when you go into relationship stuff. What if I stay with this chick? What if I stay with that chick? I mean, anything could happen. You know what I'm saying? One of those, you could have, chick could have been the nicest woman you ever known and something could have happened somewhere down the line and she ended up stabbing you in your sleep or she could have did something that caused you to do some weird ass shit. Now you in jail or dead or, or anything. It's just, you just never fucking know. The only thing you know that at this point, you still here doing whatever it is you're doing. You go back and change something. You could be better off. Or you could be a whole lot worse off. Either or. That would be that would be the the flip of the coin. You want to go back and relive all this shit? Well, you got to go back and relive all this shit. We could change this decision right here. At this point, we can make you change that decision, but you got to go forward without any knowledge of of you know no no past knowledge you know what i'm saying no past knowledge let me eat this a little bit more resistance i'm all right i'm about done anyway you know no past knowledge now you got to go through this blind like regular folks go through life you don't know what's gonna happen here you don't know what's gonna happen there you know what i'm saying you don't know not to stay away from all this fucking fast food <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You don't know not to go to shit, please. You don't know not. To, you don't know none of this shit. You got it. Okay, boom, boom. You start from here. We gonna see how this is gonna turn out. I'm like, shh. God damn it. Yeah. Will you be better off? I'm gonna tell you right now. You do that shit to me. Go all the way back to whenever in my in my teens and twenties and shit like that. No past knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you get to change this one decision and go from there. Like I said, you don't know how it's going to turn off, but largely it's probably going to end up being the same. I'm not going to know to stay away from fucking, you know, uh, all the fast food and CC's and Little Caesars and Shipley's and all this other stuff. I ain't going to know that. If I did all that shit in this in, in this turn, I'm probably going to do it in the next. You know what I'm saying? Unless you, like I said, you never know. You can meet somebody or go through something that alters that. But you don't know that. You don't. You just don't know that. I can go back in time, change something, and, and go through a fucking version of myself to where I win the fucking lotto. $300 million or some shit like that. And go through some shit where I have no impulse control. You give me $300 million right now. You know what I'm saying? I got all kind of... I have been through enough to know if you give me that much goddamn money. Where I know what to do to keep fucking it off. You give me that much goddamn money in my goddamn 20s or some shit like that. I'm probably either dead or broke before I'm 30. Fuck that shit off. You know what I'm saying? It's just, that's probably going to happen. The hell is that? Yeah, it's probably going to happen. That's why you can't worry about regrets, man. You know. Whether it's, you know, the big decisions in your life. What would happen if I did this? You don't know. You don't fucking know. You know, if I was still dealing with this person or that person... Would it be better off? You don't fucking know. You know what I'm saying? You just you just don't. You have no fucking idea. The only thing you can go back on is think back on that shit with with knowledge that you wouldn't have had before then. Having re regrets and shit like that is just pointless. Even if you think you'd be better off. Well, you're not. You know what I'm saying? You're not. You're not better off. You're still in a situation you're in. You go back and change some shit. You're just not guaranteed to be in just an identical but better situation that you are. Don't know if that's going to fucking happen. If you just think about it, there's no way to fucking know. It's probably going to never happen. That's what happens when you play video games and you watch TV and shit and movies 
<laughs> all the goddamn time because they always doing it. There's always some time travel shit. There's always some some weird ass stuff going on where people get to go and look at their past and ponder shit. Just you can look at your past and ponder shit, but don't go. No, don't go thinking that you should have did this, that, and the other because it's too many moving parts. There's more moving parts that you can even conceive. You know what I'm saying? There's more moving parts that you can even conceive. And you can't go back and change shit thinking that you might be able to uh, keep thinking about that. It's pointless. You know? What you do is you look at your past, look at other people's past, look at other people's present. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You look at other people, you take all that information and you apply it, apply it to us now because this is all you can worry about. You know, all you can worry about is a prison. Like right now, me pedaling this bike for a few more minutes. That's what I worry about. Now, what I'm going to be doing when I stop recording this video and uh, stop peddling, you know, I plan on going and getting me something to drink and going to sit the fuck down. Well, I know what I plan on doing, but I can't worry about that right now because I got to worry about keep peddling right now because I might not make it to the refrigerator and to the bedroom to sit the fuck back now. I can fucking have a stroke or heart attack right the fuck now. And that, you know what I'm saying? It's just all I can do is worry about this right here. I know what I plan on doing, but I'll worry about that when I get there. You know, there's a certain extent to that thinking, but you got, you have to make, uh, you have to have stuff posted up for the future. But you can't really worry about it until you get to it. You know what I'm saying? dealing with it is a now problem you know what i'm saying you got something posted up for the future but the dealing with that is right the fuck now i'm peddling right now well this peddling is helping with me being able to fucking walk and shit like that if i can't do that i don't make it back to that refrigerator and i don't make it back to my bedroom so i can sit the fuck down and not walk it's just, <laughs> you know that type of shit you know just like right now, I have to pay my goddamn property tax. I gotta make phone calls. I gotta do all this other shit. It's posted up. You know what I'm saying? That's stuff that I can't worry about it right now because that's not on the agenda. At some point, it will be a now problem to where I'm sitting down at my desk, looking at little papers and writing stuff down, you know, getting my little check. But ain't time for that yet. Will be. But it ain't now. So I can't worry about that. I'll worry about that when it's the time for that. You gotta get through other shit first. Other stuff has to go through now before I get to then. It's just it's just how it is. That's one of the, I think that's one of the kind of things I keep my little stress down and shit like that. Don't let stuff stress me out. Stuff happens. Hey, I can't do nothing about that. Now, it'll be then at some point, and I'm going to look back to when, <laughs> way back when, and think, could I have done something different? <laughs> when then was now? Yeah, probably could have. But I probably wouldn't be why I am now. And that could be either for better or worse. So I could have went back and did something a little bit better than I thought. Don't mean I'll be better off now. Likelihood would probably be, yeah. You know, depending on the scope. There's a lot of stuff that don't have a whole lot of movie reports to where you can legit go back and say, if I did this, I'd be better off now. Now, going way back in time, years and years, no, you can, probably couldn't. You don't, you don't know. There's too much going on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if I had to go back in time before I hopped on this bike and decided I'm going to hop on this bike and not go take a dump in the bathroom first 
and just come out here and go hop on a bike where I'll be like, okay, I probably wouldn't be here pedaling right now. I probably would have came out here, sat down on the bike, pedaling, and been like, uh oh. And then <laughs> and then had to go and go to the bathroom and sit down for 30, 45 minutes, because that's how I am, because I'll be on the phone fucking around. And next thing I know, I probably there's a good chance that I don't hop on this bike for the rest of the day. I didn't I didn't derailed, you know, the little shit. Because I decided to go not to go to the bathroom before I hopped on the bike. I'm still up there. So yeah. Don't worry about regrets. Don't worry about past choices. Because at the at, now that we done passed all that, you can't change it. You know, you can't change it. The only thing you can deal with is what's going on right now. And keep what's in the future in view but deal with what's going on right now because the future will be now before you know it <laughs> and, and you'll be dealing with that and it'll be other stuff posted up in the future for you to look back on but i mean for you to look forward to but don't worry about too much of stuff that happened in the past don't worry about it no mean don't look back on it I say don't worry about it. There's your goddamn difference. You need to look back on shit. But that that's those are our lessons. You know what I'm saying? Those are our lessons. What we look back on, all that stuff builds up who we are right now. So look back on it. But don't worry about it. If something didn't go as well, don't dwell on it. Worry about what's going on right now. Because what's going on right now is who you are. What's going what's posted up is what could be. But if you ain't dealing with what's going on right now, that could be stuff really don't matter. You know what I'm saying? So that'll be that that's my shit for today. Don't worry about regrets and all this other stuff. Just deal with what you got right now. And then, you know, keep whatever you need to have posted up. So your decisions of what you make right now don't end up being regrets. So I'm going to catch y'all later.